Match to match in round five of the All Flag State Premier League saw newly promoted Bayswater City play host to ECU Joondalup at Frank Drago Reserve. Bayswater dominated the opening stages and looked to attack whenever the opportunity presented itself, but they found themselves behind in the 14th minute. A Banks long ball up the park saw Joondalup awarded a free kick when Gonzalez pushed Thornley in the back. There appeared to be no real danger from the position, but Higgins' free kick had a lovely loop to it and deceived Papalier in the Bayswater goal to find its way into the back of the net. 1-0 to Joondalup. Papalier has come off his line. Higgins may well have spotted that, and he fails to backpedal as Higgins' audacious effort gave Joondalup the lead. On the half hour, Banks launched a goal kick up the park. This time, Gonzalez was penalised for a foul on McMurray. Steins whipped the free kick into the box. Thornley laid it back to McMurray, who side footed home. Joondalup 2 0 up and making it look easy. Stein's ball into the box picks out Thornley, whose touch to McMurray may have had a slice of luck to it, but McMurray side foots the ball home with ease. Despite being two goals down, Bayswater continued to try and play football, and in the second half, a flying move up the middle of the park came to Gustavo Maralunda. He pulled away from Kelly, pulled the ball back ran across the box before unleashing a shot that Banks did superbly to push onto the post. Minutes later, Marilunda was at it again. He slipped in behind McGee, held off Kelly and slipped the ball under Banks, but unfortunately for Bayswater, wide of the goal. In the 61st minute, as Bayswater looked to counter-attack quickly, substitute Ryan McDarby was guilty of a rash challenge on Jacara that resulted in a straight red card. Joondalup down to 10 men for the last half hour. Watching the replay, McDarby appears to make no attempt to play the ball. The only question was, did it warrant a straight red card or just a yellow? Jacara was soon back on his feet and pulling the strings for Bayswater, and a wonderful crossfield pass picked out Marilunda, who had the better of Wiley and was only prevented from scoring by the onrushing Banks. In the 75th minute, Higgins beat the wild lunge of Njegic and advanced into the box, then deftly chipped Papalier, only to see his effort bounce back off the crossbar. McMurray tried to shield the ball before dramatically falling to the ground, and referee Manella pointed to the spot. Up stepped John Thornley, whose well-taken penalty beat the outstretched dive of Papalier, much to the keeper's despair. Superb chip by Higgins, unlucky not to end up in the back of the net. McMurray shields the ball and despite the spectacular dive, was definitely fouled by Njegic. Straight from the kickoff, Bayswater bounced back. The ball was played out to Marilander on the left. He went down the line before cutting in past Pope. Joondalup sat off him and he unleashed a superb strike from the edge of the box that left Banks grasping at air. A wonderful individual goal by the ever-dangerous Marilanda, Joondalup allowing him time and space to shoot and paying the price. Four minutes later and Bayswater had a second. Jacara again picked out Marilanda, who got the better of Wiley and then drew McGee before shooting across his body to find the back of the net. Bayswater two, Joondalup three, Nine minutes remaining. A good first touch by Marilanda, who heads straight for goal. He draws McGee and shoots across his body, deceiving Banks for his and Bayswater's second. Bayswater went in search of a third. Substitute Riali eased past McCulloch before playing a 1-2 with Cissé but Joondalup scrambled his cross clear. 
Minutes later, as they continued to push, the final whistle sounded. Joondalup surviving to win 3-2 at 